Hi everyone, it's Sharice again. I'm here with Motherhood Exposed and today I want to talk about the snoo. Okay, so I'm multitasking today, I have my child in her swing and she's watching Boss Baby because that's her favorite, favorite show. That's the only thing that I can get her to like settle down. So if you hear anything in the background, possibly her sucking on her pacifier, um, that's my baby. And that's the whole point of motherhood is learning how to multitask and, you know, get things done even when your child is around. So let's get right into it. So today I'm going to be talking about the snoo. So in the previous video, you might remember that I was saying that there's this new bassinet it's about $1,300, um, but you can rent it. So what I did was basically rent this new bassinet for $112 a month. So I've had it for three months now, so I wanna give a review because that is, $113 is, a good, is not a lot of money, but it's a good amount of money to be spending every month. To me, that's like a bill. Um, and then also to buy it, like I said, it's $1,300 which is definitely an investment. So you wanna make sure that it works. So here's my honest review of the snoo. So originally I had my baby and this got the snoo um, when she was about three weeks, three weeks old. So she was in the snoo the first night that I put her in there. She was great for the first hour. <laughs> And then, you know, she started moving around. Um, but partially it was my fault because I didn't realize that like the inner bands, the, which I'll show you guys in a, in a bit. Um, basically they they give you uh, this uh, swaddle. So the swaddle on the outside, it has a zipper, so you zip it, but it also has inner bands. So you're supposed to tie their arms down. So it's like laid to the side because you know, they have like that morpho reflex thing going on. Um, and it's supposed to help them stay, you know, calm and intact and feel like they're in their mother's womb. And I didn't really know about the inner bands part. However, fast forward to when my child was about six weeks, um, she was completely breaking out of the swaddle completely like it just wasn't working even with tying her down with the inner bands and I know I reached out to customer service to talk about you know the issues that I was having which customer service is great they're really um, prompt however I didn't feel comfortable with some of the suggestions that they had like one of them was that they said to put uh, rice on her like on her chest, which I don't think that's really safe. And I don't think that my pediatrician would have said, oh, okay, like that's a good idea. Um, so I did not do that. Also um, with this new, even with the rocking, rocking her, because it, it, it basically goes off of the baby's cry. So as a child is crying, you know, it would kick into gear. So there's different levels. There's like one, two, three. And then there's a baseline level. So the baseline level, the snoo does not rock back and forth. It just um, plays white noise. So then there's white noise played. Then level one, it starts to go back and forth like this. Level two, it goes a little faster. Level three, it's like super, super duper fast, which I know some parents were concerned about because it does like really shake. Um, and some parents were concerned about, you know, the safety of the child. For me, even with all of that, and I let my child even go up to level three, um, just to see if it helped settle her down, which it did not. So that's the one thing that you should be aware of is that the snoo does not work for every child. And I didn't feel like I was really getting my money's worth but I did want to try it, make sure I tried it out for a few months. So now she's three months and I had it since she was three weeks. Um, she's three She's three months and she'll be a week tomorrow, which I'm sending this new back tomorrow um, because I just don't think that she likes it and it's for, for her. More than anything, I feel like the swing that I bought for $69.99 at Target, the Graco swing, which I'll do a review 
on um, sh shortly. That was like the best investment. I put her in there, she's quiet, I know she's safe, she's good to go. And it's portable, lightweight, and for me, that that was, um, that has been the best baby product that I've bought thus far. So, I'm gonna get into showing you what this new looks like, and then also showing you the, the swaddle. Here's the snoo, which if you watch um, This Is Us, you might have seen this on the last episode of This Is Us. So this is what it looks like. It's white, it has this mesh, um, this kind of wood grain paneling, and it's pretty simple to kind of just hook up. And this is what it comes with. So this is the swaddle that I was talking about. So you have like, these little things that help secure the baby inside of the snoo. And then you have like the zipper, so you unzip it. And then you have these bands, which I was talking about. So you would wrap your baby up, hands down, and arms down like this. And then you would just zip your child up as so. And this is a large, so it doesn't have, it has a, um, was supposed to have, um, you can use to have the arms out if you want, because older babies tip, sometimes don't want their arms to be down. And they're old enough to be able to have their arms out and not for them to bother them, because the morpho reflex has, or, or the startling has settled down. Otherwise, you can just zip them up and keep them tightly in here. So it's really a beautiful bassinet. It just it just didn't work for my my daughter personally. And then here, what it is what it looks like on the inside. You have the band to keep your child in place. And then you see this, you can kind of see the swiveling action, which it does when the child becomes upset. So the snoo personally didn't work for me. However, as new parents, you're willing to throw everything at the board just so you can get some sleep. So I feel like if you do have the extra funds, um, definitely try it because it has worked for some people. It just did not work for my daughter. She only got about two hours of sleep um, out of it at any given time, which to me, that was like the same amount of sleep that she was getting in just a regular bassinet that didn't move. So I didn't think that it was really affecting her um, that much. What really did help i would say was the white noise but i just youtube some white noise on my phone and i'll just use that to kind of settle her down um so yeah that's kind of like my little two cents about the snoo definitely i wouldn't buy it outright they have a, like you can like there's two ways you can do it one you can rent it for 113 100 yes yeah, pretty much 113 dollars um you can rent it or you could buy it and if it doesn't work out for you you would be able to send it back within 30 days which is also another way you can kind of try it out but i definitely would try it first before i i just went out and just said okay this i know this is gonna work because it really might not work for you and then you just spent all that money you know so that's kind of my story on the snoo. And then also just kind of wanted to talk about one more thing just from a postpartum uh, perspective for mothers, new mothers. So again, as you know, I'm at three months postpartum. And one thing that I thought that I could beat was like the hair loss. I always heard so much about hair loss and how your hair is gonna fall out. It's just one of those things that your hair is gonna shed. 
and I thought, oh, I'll just take the prenatal vitamins, which I think the prenatal vitamins do help to keep you going. And it also helps promote hair growth and fingernail growth and all those great things, right? But it happened to me. <laughs> so this is why I'm also wearing this kind of like scarf thing because you can see right here, I experienced some hair loss. Here, I experienced some hair loss. And then my hair also just started coming out in clumps in the shower. So yeah, that's definitely a real thing, but I feel like, you know what? It's a part of motherhood and the sacrifice, sacrifice that we make as mothers. And if it does happen, you can always get a nice little wrap, wrap your hair up um, until your hair grows back. Um, and just be proud of everything that comes with this whole process because it's a journey, it's a gift, and there's nothing to be ashamed of. And I think sometimes, you know, women, as women, we could be hard on each other and on ourselves. And there's so much that your body goes through change-wise that just embrace everything and just love yourself to the max. Don't feel bad about not being able to put on makeup or not having your eyebrows done or your hair falling out, your body not being the way that it once was. So for me, I just want to encourage all the mom new mommies out there and mothers in general, just be happy with who you are and love yourself first, okay? So next time I'll have something else that we can kind of discuss and go over. I'll have another topic and I hope that you subscribe to my channel and that I'll see you next time.